it's really a, a painless. Most people get a little inflammation in the area for a couple of days. Uh, nothing that requires uh, anti-inflammatories or narcotics. If, if you do have discomfort, you could take an Advil, but uh, we haven't seen that that's been required. The only restrictions really for men, uh, after we deposit the, the pellets, we want you to hold off heavy leg work or leg activity, leg exercises for about a week, especially leg exercise involving the gluteus muscle like uh, you know squats in the gym. And for females, since they get less uh, pellets deposited, they can go back to exercising in three days. So there's been some misconception in the medical community regarding hormone replacement and cancer, and even blood clots. There are good clinical trials now, years worth of data, large trials that have pretty much disproven this business of hormone replacement causing blood clots and cancer. So many doctors out there still think that if one has a uh, prostate cancer that hormone replacement or testosterone replacement will cause the prostate cancer to grow. The clinical trials show that testosterone replacement therapy with bioidentical hormones with pellets is actually protective against prostate and breast cancer. That's what the data show. Same with DVT or blood clots. The data show that uh, bioidentical hormones do not increase the risk of deep vein thrombosis or DVT and blood clots. <music>